Welcome back to Let's Build a Willy's Jeep channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the shift levers onto the transfer case in the tub right here. And there's a few components that we're going to need to install. There is the two different shift levers right here. One has a longer, I guess you could say, neck on it than the other one, as you can see. The one on your left is shorter and the, on the right is a bit longer. And the left one would be the very first one when you install it that'll be facing towards, I guess you could say the transmission here and the one with the longer neck will be facing in towards the passenger side. We are now gonna go over the components for this installation. So on the left right here is the one with the shorter neck is the shift lever front wheel and then going towards your right with the longer neck is the shift lever underdrive and then these two little metal components right here are the lever springs and it will, they will be placed on both sides of these levers there's also a shift lever set pin here there is also a 45 degree zerk quarter inch by 28 which will be attached to the pin that is actually located right here in the transfer case right there I'll show you guys how to do that and then there's also a washer that you might need to put in between the two shift levers and you might need to put up to two because if your casting is all worn out you might need to uh, fill in the gap so there's less play on the shift levers here's a closer view of what this pin looks like that's attached to the transfer case it's this brass pin right here the zerk will be attached on to this end as it's threaded and that's where you'll be able to grease up the shift levers and the grease will flow into this and there's little holes right here on the pin and that will pump grease into the shift levers and the set pin will be threaded in right here as it's threaded onto the transfer case and that will hold the pin in place so it doesn't move back and forth first thing i would do is grease up this pin a little bit set the pin all the way back and then first you put on the lever spring with this little notch thing facing to inwards towards the shifters. Next, put the shifter with the long arm on it on first as it reached further in. Okay, and now, and then next, we put on the next shifter with the smaller arm on it. We gotta put our little spring lever on still too. There we go. Got it. Engaged. This is how the shift lever should be orientated. So you can see the one with the longer neck is going to this pin that is further out and the shorter neck is going to the closer one that's towards the bell housing and the shifters just actually fit in this little slot right here and pull this pin in and out and that engages different gears in the transfer case and then that's how those levers work and put the jeep into four-wheel drive and high and low tighten the set pin until it's hand tight and then tighten the zerk as well until it's hand tight and make sure you don't forget to grease up these shifters because you don't want this to get all seized up and it's also very important that you install this pin in when you're installing the transmission and transfer case because you can't get this pin in because it actually hits the tub right here you may have to cut a hole out 
if you don't install this pin in first so you can slide the pin through the tub and then into this slot right here. Taking you guys back around to the shift levers here, this is how they should look when they're properly installed. Both the knobs are threaded onto the top. Make sure you put the knobs on as well. And I'll go over the assembly of what it's supposed to be like. So this shift lever has the longer neck and there is a shift lever spring, possibly a washer in between to make sure there's less play in the shift levers. Then there's also the neck shift lever, which has the smaller neck attached to the transfer case. And then on the other side right here, there's the other shift lever spring. And then there's the set pin that's down right here. And then the Zerk is threaded on this side. And that is how you install the shift levers onto the transfer case. Thanks for watching and subscribe.